What's up guys, Coach David with uh, davidofthelion.com guys. Ooh, I love when you guys come over here to watch these videos so much. I'm changing your lives guys. I'm taking you from the mindset of a coach to the mindset of a leader because we are much more than just coaches. Coaches blow whistles, uh, you know, give you a pat on the back, tell you good job. Leaders, leaders are people who other people look up to in order to help them reach their goals and reach their potential, guys. So understand, you're not coaches anymore. You're becoming leaders, and that's what I want to help you do. So today, uh, being in the fitness industry for as long as I have, I would say, let's see, 18. Seven years. So not, not the longest ever. You know, not, I'm not saying that I've been in here. I'm a veteran in the league. But I'm saying of eight years, seven years that I've been doing this, there is something that I see coaches do that is potentially what could take you to your failure, okay? When you're young, uh, when you're starting new in the game, you're hungry. You want to train everybody and everything, and that's where the problem occurs. You may specialize in, let's say that you are a, a sprinting coach. Let's say that you know everything there is to know about sprinting, and you get into the training world, and all of a sudden, you start bringing in people who... They want to get stronger, right? So they want to do weightlifting. Or you start bringing on people who want to lose weight. But your specialty is training athletes to run faster. You have to learn, guys, that in order to be great in this industry, you cannot be great at everything. No one is asking you to be great at everything. And usually what happens is we claim that we are good at this, 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 and this. And just because we go to a certification doesn't mean that it makes you great at that, right? Sometimes it's best for us to step back to take a big view of everything and say, look, am I the best person to allow this athlete to get the most out of what they're about to pay for? Because if not, guys, you are shortening them. And this business is not about you as a leader or a coach. This is, business is about the people who are coming to us and asking us for help. Now, as the years go on, you start to learn something else. You know, maybe you're a sprint coach for athletes, but you start getting into the strength conditioning, or sorry, the strength side, and you really start to study the strength side, and you gain that knowledge, then you can bring those people on. Or you start gaining knowledge of programming for people who are looking to really lose weight um, in, in, a healthy, in a healthy matter, of course. But uh, you, know, you start learning, you start bringing in, reading more information, and that starts to come in. But I, I just want to tell you, coaches, to be the best at what it is that you want to be the best at, stop trying to be the best at everything. Okay, it's just not possible. And when you're able to pick that topic that you believe you are the expert in, you are going to become the leader in your area for that topic. But if you're one of those guys who keeps bouncing around or one of those girls who keeps bouncing around saying, oh, I can do this and I can do that and you want to do this, well, cool, come with me. I can do that too. No, you are not going to be the best at what it is that you think you're good at, right? You want to be the best in a, in a specific category. If it's strength conditioning, be the best at strength conditioning. If it's weight loss, be the best at weight loss. That's all there is to it. You are not going to become the greatest trainer in your area or in the world if you keep trying to be great at every single little thing there is. I said it already a hundred times in this video, guys, but I want to reiterate that fact because it happens too much. Make connections in the fitness industry. Send those people that you're not really sure how to help to other people. You are going to build your reputation that way, guys. So, mind shift. Mind shift is going from a coach, blowing a whistle, rah, 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 to a leader. Presenting yourself in a way that you have the knowledge to get people to where it is they want to go. And if you're able to do that, guys, you're going to change lives more dramatically than you've ever trained, changed lives before. Coach David here. If you guys need to get a hold of me, um, email me. Send me a message on Facebook, whatever it may be. I'm here to help you guys to change and get that, or not to change, but to get that mind shift, that paradigm shift of I'm just a coach, so I'm a leader in the fitness industry. I will talk to you guys soon. This is Coach David. I'm out.